What's going on everyone, Chris here, and in this video I'll be discussing pipe drive automation. Get ready, you're gonna hear that word a lot. Pipe drive is a powerful sales CRM tool that helps businesses manage their sales pipeline and grow their revenue. One of its key features is automation, which allows users to streamline their sales process and save time. Automation is important because it enables businesses to focus on high value tasks, reduce manual errors, and overall efficiency. In this video, we'll cover how to get started with pipe drive automation, give you an overview of the dashboard, and discuss what automation is and how to create it in Pipedrive. By the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of Pipedrive automation and how to use it to optimize your sales workflow. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Pipedrive, the first step is to create an account, and you will find my special link down below in the description of this video. When you sign up with that link, you'll get a 30-day free trial with all of the features for free compared to a 14-day free trial without it. It's an also an affiliate link, so when you use it, I do make a small commission at no cost to you, so thank you so much for using that. Now, let's get started. Once you're on the home page, click on the Try It Free button to start the process. Next, you'll have two options to sign up for a new account. You can either use your email address or your Google account. Choose the option that works best for you and follow the prompts to complete the sign-up process. Once you signed up, you'll be taken directly to your account dashboard. This is where you'll be able to start exploring Pipedrive's features and setting up your account to suit your needs. The dashboard is the main hub of Pipedrive, and this is where you can access all of its features and tools. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find the main menu, which contains the core tabs of the platform. These tabs include leads, deals, projects, campaign, sales inbox, activities, contacts, insights, products, marketplace, and more options like the automations, automatic assignment, documents, and import data. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing specifically on the Pipedrive automation feature. If you're interested in learning more about the other features of Pipedrive, we got you covered. You can find a link to a comprehensive Pipedrive tutorial in the description below. Pipedrive automation is a powerful feature that allows users to streamline their sales process by automating repetitive tasks and workflows. With automation, users can create customized workflows to trigger specific action-based predetermined conditions, such as deal stages, lead behavior, or customer interactions. This enables sales teams to focus on high-value tasks, replace manual errors, and improve overall efficiency. Pipedrive automation is important because it helps sales teams save time and resources by automating routine tasks, such as sending up follow-up emails, updating deal stages, or assigning tasks by team members. By automating these tasks, sales teams can respond quickly to customer inquiries, improve lead nurturing, and increase deal closures. Additionally, automation provides real-time insights and analytics, enabling sales teams to make data-driven decisions and optimize their sales strategies. By implementing Pipedrive automation, businesses can improve their sales productivity, customer satisfaction, and revenue growth. Automation enables sales teams to work smarter, not harder, by automating tedious tasks and focusing on high-value activities that drive revenue and growth. With Pipedrive automation, businesses can stay competitive in today's fast-paced sales landscape where speed, efficiency, and personalization are key to success. To access Pipedrive automation feature, start by clicking on the three dots at the bottom of the left menu. This will open a drop-down menu where you can select the Automations tab. Once you click on this tab, you'll be taken to the Automations page. On this page, you will see a list of all the automations you've created as well as their history. This allows you to keep track of how your automations are performing and make any necessary adjustments. Additionally, you will also have the option to create a new automation from this page, giving you the flexibility to customize your sales workflow as needed. Before we dive into the details of automation, let's first cover how to add users in Pipedrive. This is an important step because it will help us understand the automation features just a little bit better. To add a user, start by clicking on the profile section at the top right corner of the page. This will open a drop-down menu where you can select the Manage Users option. On the Manage Users page, you'll see a list of all your team members and their access levels. To add a new user, click on the green plus button at the top right side of the page. Next, enter the user's email address and click on the Preview button. Finally, click on the Invite Users button to invite the users you've entered their email address for. Once you know how to add users, you're now ready to move on to the main topic where we will show you how to create automation in Pipedrive. To create a new automation in Pipedrive, start by clicking the plus automation button at the top of the page. This will get you started with creating an automation. First, enter a title and description for the automation at the top left side of the page. Click on the default title and add your own title that you want to give it. Then, add a description by clicking on the description option. You can also add labels to help organize your automation. 
To begin designing your automation, click the Add Trigger button. This will open a sidebar where you can choose the item and event that will trigger your automation. This is where you will define what will start the automation process. Next, click the Add Users button at the top right side of the page to add users to this automation. Once you've added the users, you can proceed to design your automation. This is where you define what actions will be taken when the automation is triggered. To start designing your automation, you need to add a trigger. To do this, click on any of the options on the right sidebar that you want to create automation for, such as activity, deal, lead, organization, person, or project. For this demo, we'll click on the deal and then choose deal created. Once you've made your selection, click on the apply trigger button at the bottom right side. This will save the automation and take you to the next step. In the second step, you can define the conditions that are need to be met before the automation moves on to the next step. This is where you can set specific criteria that must be met for the automation to continue. There's a lot of automation talk here, but trust me, just stay with me. <laughs> By setting conditions, you can ensure that the automation only runs when it's supposed to and that it's tailored to your specific needs. To add a condition to your automation, click on the Add Condition button. Once you've added the conditions, click on the Apply Condition button at the bottom right side. This will save the conditions and take you to the next step. After adding the condition, click on the plus button to move on to step three. This will open the right sidebar where you have different options to choose from. You can add another instant condition, wait for a condition, add an action, or delay an action. For this demo, we will add an instant condition. The process is the same as before. Click on the add condition button, create the conditions, and then click on the apply condition button. If you want to add more steps to your automation, you can click on the plus button to add more steps. However, for this demo, we'll stop right here and click on the save button at the top right side to save the automation. There's that automation word again. Now that your automation, again, is added, if you go back to the automations tab and click on it, you will see three options, templates, automations, and history. If you click on the automation section, you'll see your current automation and its status. This is where you can monitor and manage your automation. Pipedrive offers a 14-day free trial for all of its plans. And by using the link in the description, the 14-day free trial will extend to a 30-day free trial, allowing you to test out the platform and see if it's right for your business before committing to a paid plan. All right, and that is it for this tutorial on how to use Pipedrive Automation Part 1. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to comment below. I will always do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care.